When it comes to Linux, there are a number of Linux distros to choose from. As per the user's taste, one such distro we are going to review today is Pop OS. So let's get started. So Pop OS is an Ubuntu based Linux distribution created by System76. Based upon custom GNOME desktop environment, Pop OS is free software and it comes with preloaded software. And it has its own Pop Shop from where you can download applications specifically available for Pop OS. So when it comes to downloading Pop OS, you would see two options an Intel or AMD graphics ISO, and an ISO with NVIDIA option. So, if you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, download the ISO with the proprietary NVIDIA driver pre installed. So after selecting the one suits you best, let's begin. We need to create a bootable Pop OS USB drive. As always, we will be using Rufus application to create the bootable USB drive. Select the USB and ISO file after that. Click Starts. So after creating your bootable Pop OS drive, restart your computer and boot from the USB device. The first step after booting is to select your language. Now we will select the keyboard layout. Now we can choose to install Pop OS. There are two options available. Select Clean Install if you want to erase the currently installed operating system. And install Pop OS on the selected drive. Or choose Custom Partitioning. Please note that if you need to do a boot, install Pop OS first then reinstall Windows. I provide a link in the description if you want to know about dual boot. You can choose to encrypt your drive or to not encrypt your drive. Now Pop OS will begin installing. Pop OS has been successfully installed on your compute. You can choose to reboot your computer to create your new user. A lot of users think that Pop OS is just Ubuntu with a different skin. That is not entirely true. Yes, they both use GNOME desktop environment however, Pop OS just feels more polished and clean. Pop OS tailored to developers, programmers, and makers. It's one of the best Linux OS for programmers. Thanks to its expanded use of keyboard shortcuts, you'll find some useful applications like TensorFlow, Android Studio and here. So let me know what you think about Pop OS. So that's it for today's video don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.